today and um, the viewing audience from home. The, um, this meeting is officially called to order. I do want to remind those of you in the stands that your signs, thank you, have to be below um, people's eyes level so that you're not blocking anybody behind and that anybody shouting out from the audience um, will have to be, um, will be asked to leave because that is um, violating our decorum. Okay, the purpose of this special called meeting of the New Hanover County Board of Education is to determine whether the board wishes to adopt a resolution censuring board member Judy Justice. I now, will now read aloud the proposed resolution which has been provided to each board member for consideration. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, Ms. Bowie, can you do the roll call for me, please? Here. Nelson Boyer. Here. Judy Justice. Here. Hugh McManus. Here. Stephanie Walker. On the way. Peter Wildeboer. Present. And Stephanie Craybill. Here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now do I have a, um, a motion to approve the agenda? Move to approve, Mr. Boyer. Is there a second? Second, Stephanie Adams. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that motion passes six to zero. Okay, so now I'm ready to read the resolution. <clears throat> Whereas the New Hanover County Board of Education has convened a special called meeting on this 14th day of January 2022 for purposes of determining whether to adopt this resolution censuring board member Judy Justice. And whereas board policy 2120 code of ethics for board members, subsection B6 requires board members to respect the confidentiality of information that is privileged under applicable law and refrain from unauthorized disclosure of matters discussed in closed session. And whereas North Carolina General Statutes 115C-319 and 321 provide for the confidentiality of personnel information. Whereas the board, Ms. the board finds Ms. Justice has violated policy 2120 by revealing confidential personnel information protected by North Carolina General Statutes 115C-319 and 321. Whereas due to the seriousness of this violation, the board desires to take action to protect the rights of the district's employees and to uphold the integrity of the board. So now Ms. Justice has stated that she wishes for the board to enter into closed session for the limited purpose of allowing Ms. Justice to address confidential personnel information at issue. The board will not deliberate with respect to the censure solution in closed session. Do I hear a motion to enter closed session for the reasons um, listed on the agenda? Move for closed session. Do I hear a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Absolutely. Ms. Justice. Just beyond closed session, I also would like to make statements re relating to this accusation in public, which the public has a right to hear, and then enter into closed session, which is what should be done since I have my rights to defend myself. We, we are. We're going to go into closed session first. You can, you can do what you need to do in closed session, and then we will come back and you will have the chance to defend yourself. Oh, this is part of my statement to the board, or better yet, part of my information to the board. I don't see any reason why I can't do it first. I mean, second would we've be fine. We've already approved the agenda, Ms. Justice. So um, can well, I have a, We've already uh, approved the agenda, and you approved with us. So please, let's just stay on track. Uh, You're going to have a chance to talk as much as you need when we come out of closed session. Well, that's absolutely fine, but it would just like make a lot more sense in the process of actually having me present this first and then do this in closed session. To me, it's really gonna be the same thing. Ms. Justice, but, we've uh, already approved the agenda. Well, so, this, is, this is part of my defense. You will have your defense when we get back. All right, Ms. Bowie, would you please call the roll? Ms. Adams? Aye. Mr. Bullier? Aye. Ms. Justice? No. Mr. McManus? Aye. Ms. Walker? No. Mr. Wildeboer? Aye. And Ms. Craybill? Aye. All right, we are now in closed session.
Okay, so we are now back into open session. Ms. Justice, now that you've had the opportunity to present any further argument to the, now you have the opportunity to present any further argument to the board for why it should not adopt the censure resolution that I read. When making your comments to the board, please keep in mind that it is imperative that you avoid discussing or revealing any confidential personnel information. And to the rest of the board, I also advise that you keep this in mind when making any responses to Ms. Justice. Okay, so Ms. Justice, you have the floor. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got quite a few things to say here and I would appreciate if some people would keep it <coughs> respectful, all right? Okay, this is my opening statement to the public and to the board, of course. It's absolutely up to the board about what goes on. Okay, I am worried that some board members are continually wasting the district's time and goodwill for sure, while we should be putting our energy into the obvious, dealing with the negative effects of the rapid spread of the Omicron virus at the height of this pandemic. You know, over 500 and some people were diagnosed yesterday in this county with it. Our schools are stretched thin. We're not talking about that, though. We're talking about that, this. Instead, here we are again, using needed time and resources because of the personal vendetta of several board members, which is a result of my fighting for full transparency while holding people accountable since taking office. I want to remind them that my job is not to fall in line, but to stand up for the students and staff in this district. That being said, I have the right to fully defend myself against the latest attack by some board members and in all honesty, the superintendent. This witch hunt is personal and everyone on this dais knows it. It is time we did our job for the people and serve the people, not some people's individual agendas. Hopefully, after this meeting, one way or the other, no matter what the outcome, we can come together and do just that. There are two parts to my defense. The first is that everyone up here, except maybe one, I don't know, has all violated 2120 at one time or another. Obviously, I'm being singled out. Some more frequently than others. Here is a list, and I'm going to read them, and I would appreciate getting through them without people interfering. Here is a list. Okay, of 10 that have taken place since I've been on board, which are documented via emails, witnesses, or through media coverage. And plenty, there have been plenty more, but these I've got documented. Probably been 20, 30, 40, who knows. I can do this publicly since there is no confidential, confidential law, confidentiality laws broken by using these examples. The second part of my defense just took place behind closed doors since confidential information was discussed. Also, I want to make it clear, I did not violate any state statutes that apply to employee confidentiality. Okay? Now, this is a sample of violations of 2120 by other board members over the last three years. Remember, I came on the board three years ago. Okay, here you go. I've got 10 examples. Refusal to investigate the many reports of sexual assaults over the last couple decades that was presented to the board in December 2019, excuse me, 2018. All board members except me refused to have an investigation despite the overwhelming evidence that it had taken place. And I think we all know from our history and what's been going on that yes, this sexual assault was taking place for decades. Or excuse me, maybe in my opinion. So it not to be on the board. Okay, that's one. Refusing, here's another one. Refusing to investigate and address the problems around the Spanish immersion program at Forest Hills, despite the overwhelming evidence that students of color were harmed by the obvious racial discrimination that occurred. Now, I can, I'll preface all of this saying in my opinion, but I think the public and documentation shows these matters are true. Okay. Initially, releasing a private Democratic Party email to the press trying to discredit me with the public and shut me up too because I was calling for investigations in the areas I just identified. That member also had another member turn that document over to a news outlet. Then he lied and said it was an accident. 
Yeah. Okay, plotting to have, this is another one, plotting to have me removed from the policy committee. Hmm, interesting emails I've come across of late. With the then chair and then taking my place once that was accomplished. Okay, taking credit, okay, here's another one, taking credit for all the planning and arranging of the community conversations that took place around the proposed art school at Williston and then having to backpedal when it was revealed that this took place from the efforts of community members, not a board member. They were involved with helping them, but they weren't the one that did it, even though they took the credit. Okay, here's another one. Intentionally planned and held a news conference. This was the board members, some of them up here. A news conference related to the alleged sexual assault of students by a teacher and trying to keep it secret from me and two other board members so we wouldn't be part of it. I showed up while I, was, I heard about it because a news reporter called me while I was walking my dog. I had to literally fly down here to be here in time. They were trying to keep me out. Okay, arranging, this is another one. Arranging backroom deals to open the schools last winter at the height of the first wave of the pandemic in exchange for bonuses paid to teachers. Now that's speculative, some people say. I look at actions, not words. Then intentionally springing this information on, the, on a late, at, during a late night board meeting within hours of the two, new board taking office. They were exhausted and then to pull that and they were confused. They didn't know the history of all this. Okay, by the way, the superintendent was also part of that event. Okay, this is another one. Accusing other board members of lying from the dais when it was a fact that the accuser, the accuser, was the one lying. All this is documented, by the way, and there's plenty of evidence to show I didn't lie. They did this in public while in a leadership role and also told that same member that they were tired of this F shit, you know, in a closed door meeting in front of the whole board. Then they denied doing that while in a public meeting. Another obvious lie and everybody sit back and let them do it. Okay, here's another one. Three more, so I can complete my 10. Okay, another member repeatedly lying to other members and gossiping and spreading lies about others in the community that are critical of board action. The spreading of gossip to other board members has caused us to make bad decisions based on this bad information. Tell the truth, quit gossiping. All right, here's another one. At least five board members refusing to hold Dr. Faust accountable after he defamed me in front of them and two of our employees. He accused me of harassing him in the workplace, even though he cannot even identify the so-called. Excuse me. That's not, that's, that is, I, my First Amendment rights, I have a right to say what he did, whether it's closed door or in front of people. I advise them on that subject. Uh, you'd advise me? And what matter? This is all true. There were nine witnesses or eight witnesses in there. I'll give my opinion. Okay, you give my your opinion. So, um, Mr. Shai, would you just be clear? Um, I, I don't know what this justice is about to share. All I can say is that we need to be very, very careful. Okay. Oh, no, absolutely not. This has nothing to do with personnel. It has to do with what his accusation against me was. I, I just had a question for clarity. Um, if, if any of the things that Ms. Justice is alleging, which she is perfectly allowed to do, um, is it um, at, at, at some point do the people that she said that to have the opportunity to, defeat, to, to, to dispute that or should we just move on since it's really not germane to the topic at hand? This isn't germane to the topic at hand? No, uh, and not in my personal opinion. The topic at hand is whether you violated personnel um, confidentiality, not about what the rest of us did. And I'm defending myself because I'm being singled out and everybody else up here has, as I said, except maybe one. So let me finish what my statement was. Okay, he accused me of harassing him in the workplace even though he cannot even identify the so-called harassment. He has no Justice, evidence of this I'm ever having taken place. He said I could say it if I, I would like. I will provide 275 Pardon? emails of that. Pardon? I will provide emails if that's what you want. You cannot, and you will not do that. Uh, you know what? I, those harassments was me asking you to do your job repeatedly. It had nothing to do with being a special class, and you have never I said that you were. Go right ahead. Okay. Now, listen. This, this is a clear violation of policy 2010. 
But he said he has four board members that support his, viol his violation of 2010, so he can go ahead and continue to violate 2010. Okay, there's also at least five board members refusing to hold Dr. Faust accountable for violating 2010. Since Justice, yes? Justice I, I don't see how this is germane to the allegations against you in the proposed censure resolution. Um, I, I think it's very germane considering the fact that this led up to what's, what went on behind closed doors. If Ms. It, Justice, this, we're, I believe we're getting skating on pretty thin ice here. Okay, well, he refuses to communicate with me or at least one other board member. That's a violation of 2010. Um, can I have a recess for a moment? Yes. yes.
Okay, we are back in open session. Ms. Justice, do you have additional comments? Oh, yes, absolutely. We need to do our job. I agree. We need to follow 2120, all of us. If we have employees that aren't following policy, we need to hold them accountable. If we had kids in a classroom or a teacher in a classroom that was violating policy and they said, oh, my principal will let me do it, or the, teacher, or the child said, oh, it's okay, my teacher doesn't care because she likes me. <laughs> That's not what we are supposed to be doing. We are tasked by the public to make sure that our employees do their job. We are taxed by the public to follow 2120. I don't feel that I violated anybody's legal rights. And I do feel that the board here needs to get cohesive. We need to focus on the real problems going on. We have a pandemic, low number of employees, able to even work, six students all over this district. And I am being personally singled out because of literally retaliation for my past actions of demanding transparency, accountability, and that people do their jobs repeatedly. I ask people to do their jobs. If they don't do their jobs, I shouldn't be the only one asking them. There's seven people up here. We need to do our jobs, and our employees need to do our jobs, and we shouldn't be singling people out that are trying to do their jobs for the people in an attempt to embarrass them, because that's about all this is going to amount to, if it even embarrasses me. I, I'm more embarrassed for this whole board. We're better than this, or we should be better than this. We ran for office to try to help our district, not to turn this into the best show in town. We have got huge problems, not just the pandemic. We also have the situation with what's happening with our kids and our staff over the last 20, 30 years. We have a staff that is suffering right now, and when our staff suffers, our kids suffer. And what are we talking about? We're talking about a violation that if they perceive it was, it wasn't intentional and is definitely not any greater than the other violations that repeatedly have gone on and will continue unless people start following 2120. So I implore the board members up here that actually care about our district and want us to pull together to stop giving into this nonsense, to do what you know is ethically right for the school district. And please start holding our employees accountable when they're hurting the district too. We can all grow, we can all learn, we all make mistakes, but to continue to make these mistakes when we've got so many things we need to solve is such a sad, sad waste of energy for our district. Are those the end of your remarks? All right, do I hear any other remarks from anybody um, on the dais? I would like to say something. Sure, um, Ms. Justice, I mean, Ms. Walker, sorry. Thank you. I hear you, Ms. Justice, and I really hope you're right. I really hope that we, you know, since I've been on this board, it's been pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And I'm personally tired of it. I think we're not getting to the work we need to get to, and it's frustrating and it's aggravating. And I would like for us to do the work. I'm tired of the personal stuff. It's getting very old. You know, I, I believe this is public service. You know, it's not glorious and it doesn't pay a lot, and it is serving the public, and that's what we should be doing. And I really hope we can move past this and get on with it. Thank you. Um, yes, Mr. Boyer. Yeah, I'm not going to go through a long litany of responses to any number of things, but I would like to respond briefly to one thing Ms. Justice said. Um, Ms. Walker, thank you. I appreciate your remarks, but she said we, are, we need to be talking about our staff, and I want to be very clear. We're not talking about you, Ms. Justice. We're here for our staff. An action that you undertook hurt our staff. I don't want to be doing this. I wouldn't be doing this. You can hurt me all day long. Your actions hurt one of our staff members, and that's all there is to it for me. Well, Ms. Adams? Um, I, would just like, oops, sorry. I would just like to say that, Ms. Justice, there was a lot of comments, and you shared a lot of things, and you shared a lot of words. But we're here today to talk about an action about an action that was a violation against a staff member. 
Did it happen? Yes. And so if that's the question, then that is our answer. Everything else that was shared was secondary. And frankly, I think it was a deflection to try and get away from the fact that you violated one of our staff members' personnel and privacy. That is it. You can say that we've all violated 2010 at whatever point, and that's fine. And you can believe that the things that you said are true. I disagree. But what I will say is that I've never violated someone's personnel rights, ever. So that is what we're here about. That is what we're voting about and why censure is the option. We need to set a higher standard. You have been up here numerous times calling for accountability. Mm -hmm. This is accountability to us. If anyone else on this board had done this, you would also be leading the charge in this discussion. So it's not okay for it to be one way for one group and one way for someone else. This is about being accountable to our policies and this was a gross violation, in my opinion. Okay, I'm hearing no more comments. Um, do I hear a motion to adopt the resolution as presented? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Does anybody need me to read the, um, the resolution again? Okay, um, Ms. Bowie, would you please call the roll? Ms. Adams? Aye. Mr. Boyer? Aye. Ms. Justice? No. Mr. McManus? Aye. Ms. Walker? No. Mr. Wildeboer? And Ms. Craybill? Aye. Okay, the, the resolution um, passes for a vote of five to two. I'd like to read the, the last paragraph of the resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the New Hanover County Board of, of Education, by a vote of five to two, does hereby censure board member Judy Justice and finds her in violation of board policy 2120 for her action in revealing confidential personnel information protected by North Carolina General Statutes 115C-319 and 321. Adopted this 11th, I'm sorry, 14th day of January, 2022. There being no further business, this meeting is adjourned.